All right, so welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. I don't know if we are going to have the the corruption reset. We're going to find that out uh, by just jumping straight in and seeing what happens. Launch moon base simulation. Yes. It should still be slightly corrupted, and if it's not, then we just have a whole new world, or just a hell of a lot more time to spend in that world. Yep, corruption level's still going on. Alright, well then, uh, I guess I'm just gonna run in, zap some people, and that's really all I need to do. Oh, I don't have the psychoscope. I was about, I was about to like, I could also scan some enemies around the area. Uh, no I can't. <laughs> okay. So, we're just gonna see... Ow! How fast we can escape. We escaped with the... The shuttle before. So now I need to escape with the escape pod. So I need to find out where the escape pod even is. Hold the fuck up. We're gonna do... One... Two... Three. So loud and annoying. That works. <laughs> All right. Let's just reset the sim. Why it's so loud? I don't know if something changed from last night, or if it's always been that fucking loud. But let's try this again. So we've reset the simulation, things are gonna be different. Uh, I'm gonna try... We're gonna try out Riley, and see how her story kind of plays out. We need to try and upload our consciousness, and see what we can do there. Although it's also tempting to just play as Joanne again, just so that way we can get some things set up because there are some items in the area that I need to repair so that way Andreas can get out but we need to see how the other escape paths actually go so I can plan for them as well so let me choose her uh, she's gonna need a, a disruptor a silence pistol ammo for that silence pistol um, obviously a good number of these other things. Brain pills, coagulating gel, dermal web, skin graft, probably two of those. I feel like we get burned more than we end up having to bleed. Our tax propulsion system, we find one pretty much immediately, so she can have that one. And then maybe a control module could be good. Typhon Towers. You know what? I don't think we've ran into the Typhon Towers. Those are probably going to start popping up at some point. Those will probably be nice, but bad at the same time. Like, oh, hey, we can, uh, we can kill the Typhons in the area. And then, whoopsie! I ended up killing myself because I have too much Typhon in myself. Alright. Oh, you know what? I need Disruptor batteries for my thing. So so I'm getting this because I know I'm going to upgrade Riley like a ton. So I might as well get as much as possible. And then we're going to grab the Neuromods. And she's got a ton of those so we can get her, her started off strong. Next. After that, 
I will go for some of these other things. Reactivator Elite. And... Potentializer is good. What else could I go for? Giving myself more health could be nice. Yeah, health. Health and then the Micro Miner. Although Micro Miner, I feel like, didn't really add too much. <laughs> we got like 7,000 from it, and it cost 1,000 to grab, and that was with a full, like, time kind of playthrough. And I don't know if I'm going to have a full time playthrough with her. How about I just reduce the cost of energy, or, or like, just powers? Okay. I think that's a solid start for her. So now we will see how Riley plays out and how we actually have to get the objective to escape with the consciousness. The first thing I'm going to do with her is I'm going to upgrade all of her hacking. So she might not actually start off with any powers, to be honest. Because there, there are so many things around the area that have need hacking three or four, and that's going to cost a lot. Okay, so let's see. Director hacking. Uh, hacking is not under the director tree. Really? Does she she doesn't have hacking? Does that mean the fucking security director is the hacker? That surprises me. Fuck. She has Psycho Shock! She's the best fucking character. Okay. Necropsy, or necropsy. Recover more valuable organs from Typhon remains. Typhon organs can be recycled for exotic material, which is used in the fabrication of newer mods. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm gonna grab that. But first, Psycho Shock. Psycho Shock 2. And then I can either get Psycho Shock 3, which is 90 damage. Or I could go for a combination of other things, such as Mind Jack and... Something like Psionic Aptitude. You know what, Psionic Aptitude? Oh, we actually have to upgrade the Psychotronics to detect hidden mimics. I thought it was just good, period, but it's not. Shoot. I'm gonna grab Necropsy. So that way we can kill Typhons, get more from their bodies. Uh, and then we're just gonna increase the pool for our Cyanic Aptitude. And make Psy, Psy Hypos do more. I would love to have some of these other abilities. But they're kind of, they're filler for me. I don't need Mind Jack. I can just kill everything. I'm still gonna grab it so that way I can have a Phantom shoot other Phantoms. But at first, don't really need it. I also gave myself like 180 bullets, so currently I'm fine. Alright. Let me set this one to... this can be three. Uh, we'll have Psycho Shock on four. My Mimic Companion can come out. Hello, little buddy! You're gonna be a nuisance to me because... It sounds like... A Mimic is always around me, because the Mimic is always around me, but oh well. Etheric Mimic. I already know information about you. Oh boy, there's a lot of them over here. Are they gonna transform themselves so I can kill them easier? This guy's- this guy knows what's up. That guy turned into a rock. For at least a brief second. Alright. Well, I'm getting some- Fucking frame rate issue there. Okay, that's probably because of something I have up on my computer. <laughs> I have a lot of things open on my computer, and we weren't having these issues beforehand. Ooh. Ooh, I feel that. Hold on. And that should fix some of my frame rate. Yeah, okay. I was right. Closed out some programs, and now my frame rate is not bad anymore. So let's see what else we can find around here. I should probably just kill these things anyways, they'll give me organs. I just didn't want to waste any bullets.
Now you can buy abilities, which is or not abilities. You can buy uh, the looper thing, delay loop, so that way you can have more time for the corruption, and that's interesting. I think I might use that sometimes for like the later playthroughs, because you can basically go, okay, hey, I have advanced somebody else's story by a ton during this run, I need to get somebody to go through, like, a level 4 corruption and not die, boom, buy them 10 things. Okay, I'm still actually having lag. Uh, that's not good. Maybe I just need to restart the game in general. Fuck me. Okay, hold on. Alright, I've restarted the game. By the looks of things, you can save and quit out of a character and not get, like, kicked back out to the simulation menu. So, that's good. <laughs> so that's very good. So we can just replay her, or not replay her, but just get back into playing as Riley. With no real big issues. Okay. Hello, thank you for the Artax system. Now I can boost myself forward, which saves my life so very much. I wonder if the moon shark is super affected by my my psychic ability here. He doesn't have psi resistance. He's weak against psychic tech, so moon shark's gonna pop out. And we're gonna give him the old razzle dazzle! Oh, fuck me. Old razzle dazzle did not work out for me. Ow. Okay. Why do you resist my bullets so much? I can kill him in three hits otherwise with my psychic blast. Jesus Lord. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? We're trying to escape as we're trying to put our mind into a robot basically. I wonder if that means that Riley Yu is actually the operator that we received. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so let me turn off the objectives. I hate that they show me every single objective at first. Let's escape. I uploaded my consciousness. Glue one medical operator with your glue cannon? What kind of bounty is that? Who gives a shit about gluing a, a medical operator? It makes sense for, like, the Typhon. Fine. You want to see me, like, freeze a Typhon? Those are enemies. But uh, an operator? You can just do that on your own time. Fucking Chasma. But hey, whatever. I guess I'll keep an eye out. Mmm, those are really inconvenient positions. <laughs> I was about to say, like... Should I jump back? What am I, what am I gonna do with this? Okay. I need something to toss. You'll do just fine, broken turret. And then we'll get rid of this cystoid nest as well. Alright. What do we got? We got an elite silence pistol. Fantastic. We can also find out where the escape pod is for future references. Check status. All right. So we have a malfunctioning pod at Moonworks. That means that's somewhere where the chip is going to be. And then a pod available in Pythias Lab. Good. What is there? Mass driver shopping list.
Oh, yeah, you get to see what you need for that. But I think you always get need the same things for the, the, shop, for the shopping list, so that's not too bad, honestly. The most annoying part would be getting the non-alcoholic beverages. I'm really sad to find out that Riley isn't the hacker. What if it turns out there's a sixth character, and it's actually us? Oh, here's power control. Ah, okay. So if I remove these control modules, I could probably turn off the power for each area. And obviously, the power for each area could be gone if the if it didn't spawn with a control module. Yet. At least with this instance, we've already confirmed that every every area, every main area, has power. So that's good. And it looks like this time we don't have any enemies up here. At least not at the front. Yep, nothing up here. Good, very good. I will get rid of my blue pistol. Farewell. Because I don't need it anymore. And I don't need the diamond spore. Uh, let's see. Wrench on one, because it's always good to have your melee weapons easily available. And a shotgun on five. That works out for us. Although, I might need to make another coagulating agent, honestly. <laughs> let's see. Coagulating gel is synthetic. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But that's alright. That should happen pretty easily. We're gonna... Oh my. We're gonna go put ourselves inside of an operator. Which should be a fun experience for the whole group. Oh no, are these fuckers gonna count as... as type of material? Or is it me? Yeah, it's just them. Fine. That's what the stun gun's for. Ooh, science. Type of material detected. I mean, if that's gonna be there, I might as well psychoshock someone. They're too far. Seriously? Oi! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it went flying. Damn it. I want to use my psychic powers because we have a science off over there. Oh, you know what? It's a machine! <laughs> I cannot use mind powers on the machine! Even though they're corrupted with Typhon energy, which means they should still be able to be hit with Psychic Blast. Requesting Fine, whatever, I'll take the logic. Thank you. I'm not gonna use it for constraining though, I'm gonna use it for killing everything. What do we have in here? Uh, a Neuromods. Always good. And now we can actually... ...make shotgun ammo, which is fantastic. And by make my shotgun ammo, ammo, I mean I'm gonna buy a ton of it before we start each playthrough. At least, when I'm playing characters who I think I'm gonna use the shotgun with a lot, which would be either the Custodian, or... Vijay. Otherwise, the pistol is good enough. 
Oh great, fire hazards. That that's not fun. You know, we always get fucked up by the thermal phantoms around here. Having these guys mess with us as well. It sucks. Okay. Where'd my buddy go? Come on, little Mick. Hello. I'm still not actually sure. What what does the mimic do? Besides follow me around and be cute with his top hat? Let's see. Friendly Mimic, they'll follow you around and reveal disguised Mimics by marking them. While the Mimic Companion is active, using the Mimic ability costs no sigh. Enemies will ignore your Mimic. Okay. So that's kind of alright. So I can I can use my own Mimic ability. Without it using up sigh, and so I can keep myself hidden. Which is kind of cool. I never really used the Mimic ability in the main campaign, so I'm actually not fully sure what the full range of its usage is going to be. I'm either going to find that out or we're just going to continue to ignore it. Okay. I see some cystoids over there. I'd rather have cystoids than... Anything else? You think this will activate? Oh shit! Detected. Okay. <laughs> so it did detect the cystoid nest, but it detects the cystoids. Good to know. Where's my mimic buddy? Does he just not follow me around effectively? I'm gonna assume it's a pathing thing. Alright, I want access to volunteer door number five. Because of course I do. And then volunteer cell number three, director's permission, can only be used by Dr. Riley's workstation, which, you know what, I'm Riley, so... I guess we'll... <laughs> see how that works. I should just know my password. I wonder if the password gets reset every single time for her computer. It would make sense for all the other ones, but what about Riley? Would I always have to play as Riley, see what her password's randomized as? Or I could always just hack her fucking computer, which is fine with me, too. Okay. Oh, hey! Uh, there we go. Yeah! Get a little mimic! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. That could have been very bad for me. I love how much I can get from dead Typhons. I also need to use my delay loop. Before we end up seeing more baddies. Which is inevitable. We don't have infinite of these, but whatever. Oh, you know what? I could have thrown this O2 bottle. There's still gotta be a cystoid somewhere, right? I see the word cystoid nest popping up. Ah! Back here in this corner. <laughs> Alright! Give me some Neuromods! I love that there's always the guaranteed Neuromods. I'm always a fan of just being like, oh yeah, you know what, there's like 20 to 50 Neuromods on the map and I always know where they are. If I was not doing this for YouTube, I'd probably grind those, honestly. I'd probably just go off and reset the simulation, grab every single Neuromod that I, I know the location of, then reset them to simulation again and do it over and over and over again. Because that's a- that'd be a cheap way, at least for- in terms of si simulation points-wise, to just gain everything. Get every single ability. Because if everybody's maxed out for abilities, ugh, everything's gonna be awesome.
Dude, she is gonna be super capable of getting uh, neuromods. It's gonna be awesome. Lab access. Hacking one. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping that hacking one would be like a basic skill that everybody could at least have. Like just basic lock picking, but no. Pythias escape pod. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I forgot the Pythias escape pod is the one that's actually here. But it doesn't have the navigation ship. Oh, hey, Angela. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Does it matter? I have the psychostatic cutter. Well, as soon as I <laughs> drop one of these items. Psychostatic cutter. Actually, I guess I could have dropped the, the wrench. Who needs this wrench? I have something much better. <laughs> this thing with someone who, you know, in the right hands is amazing. And of course, we are in a person, or we are using a person who has amazing sex abilities. So I'm basically going to annihilate everything in my path. Hmm. You see, this is where having the repair skill would allow me to get in where I'm trying to go. Okay. Let's head up to my office, the workstation, because I don't think I've actually ever been up there. I just kind of just always assumed the workstation was in Riley's office. Which, you know what? I think is right. But we've only been in Riley's office once, so I kind of I haven't fully registered that. It's the one where we found the psychoscope in. The one that she spawns with. I wonder if we'll find her body in there. Wouldn't that be weird? Okay. I was hoping to get a sneak attack off on it, but it didn't work. Corruption level two! The bathroom? The bathroom. It'd be hilarious if you watched things just spawn in right in front of you. I'm sure that'll happen at some point. That's okay. I have awesome abilities. I'll be fine. The only thing I'm really screwed on is dealing with fire. Oh boy. At least my workstation's right here. Defeat or defect bot hits the jackpot. What the fuck kind of password is that? Okay. Files. Volunteer permissions. Fuck yes. Getting the permissions for the for the neuromods down below. And then let's see what we can got in our emails. Riley, we need to talk. Do not call. I will call you. Open a secure channel first. Say the channel you might use if you need to speak to an operator. Okay. What would that be? We already read those other ones. Open a secure channel with Alex. Riley. Hey! Things on Talos 1 are becoming untenable. It's time to set contingencies we've discussed into motion. I need you to copy everything you've got onto the vault operator I sent you. The research, connectons, everything. Morgan was right. The Typhon are all linked. Which means whatever's happening up here will likely spread to you. If it hasn't already. And this should go without saying that we keep the board out of the loop on this. <laughs> They'll find out soon enough anyway. Get it done. We'll talk again soon. Oh, and Riley, be careful. 
I'm fairly certain you've got at least one Chasma mole working for you. It's probably with a custodian. All right, place the data vault operator on the docking station. Yeah, I'll get on that. Hmm, how am I gonna deal with the fire without a glue gun? Shoot. Shoot. I could just run through it, but then I get burned, and that would really bust my chaps. Maybe if I properly set things up, I can just jump around the fire. Okay, I need something bigger. Okay, well, I got uh, about halfway there, but still have a problem. <laughs> Oh. Okay. That was jank, but it worked out. Oh, wow. That's a lot of QB. That's a cool Q-beam. Why do they have to give me so much stuff when I don't have access to Recycler? Alright. Hello, little data vault operator. You are the key to everything. Copy all Pythias data onto the data vault Hello. operator. And how do I do that? Is that it? I doubt it. Yeah. Okay, install the Phantom Genesis 2 ability. Warning, subject missing. Okay. That's annoying. So I actually have to throw points towards my Phantom Tree. Fine. That also means I need to scan phantoms? Shit. Or scan something that I haven't ran into yet. Oh no. Phantoms created from Project Genesis subjects display extreme aggression. Well, how am I gonna get that? 